Hi, I'm David Bax. I'm Amy Hawkins. And welcome to Cabarrus This Week. And this week we're at the Concord Museum, downtown Concord. Got this great exhibit here, the 150th anniversary of the Civil War. It's pretty amazing. And I'm um, going to learn all about that. And we've got a lot of other information. So grab that pen and paper so you can write down that contact information. But if you miss something, don't worry about it. We'll give you a web address and an email address at the end of the show because we're just nice people. Well, as David said, we are at the Concord Museum, um, right in downtown Concord. Um, the museum has been through a renovation. Um, if you've been here recently, um, completely different look oh, and no, feel. Oh, great. Um, really cool exhibit that is going to take guests back in time with its new exhibit, Cabarrus County During Wartime and the War Between the States. Now, this special exhibit commemorates the 150th anniversary of the beginning of the Civil War, which... Um, took place right around um, early spring 1861 um, as different states began um, joining the effort. Now, on display are Confederate battle flags, hand sewn by Concord women, as well as oil paintings, weapons, including some early hand grenades, vintage photographs, and lots of other artifacts. Now, one of the neat things about this exhibit, too, is that it is an object-driven exhibit right. so that um, as folks are coming through, um, people bring their own perspectives and their own stories. Um, so as you are looking at the different objects throughout the collection, um, different people will have different interpretations of these pieces mm -hmm. and that all comes together um, to bring a really great um, experience as uh, different folks come through and look at the different items in the museum. Um, also, what's interesting too, of course, the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln um, was uh, a big figure um, through that whole process and in um, bringing the nation together as well. And we have on display his photograph as well, celebrating Abraham Lincoln's birthday, February 12th, President's Day, is this month as well. So another little interesting tidbit for uh, folks in school who are learning about the presidents. The grand opening for this exhibit, Cabarrus County During Wartime and the War Between the States, will be held on Friday, February 11th from 7 until 8 p.m. That's going to be at the Concord Museum. That is in conjunction with the Art Walk in downtown Concord. Now, costumed reenactors will be on site to bring the Civil War era to life. Admission is free and refreshments will be served. The Cabarrus County During Wartime, the War Between the States exhibit will be open Tuesdays through Saturdays from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. through Saturday, May 14th. Admission is free. Appointments can be made for group tours. The Concord Museum is located at 11 Union Street South, Suite 104. That's in downtown Concord. For more information, just call Concord Museum at 704-782-3688 or visit historiccabarrus.org. There is so much going on in downtown Concord uh, on February the 11th from like 6 to 9. Come on down and join us for the Art Walk and uh, all kinds of good things going on. You can enjoy the ambiance of Concord's downtown area and kind of browse around the art displays of various unique shops and the restaurants. <laughs> all kinds of interesting things going on. What are you looking at me so weird? Okay, here we go. Maps showing each location are available in downtown Concord, artscouncil.org. For more details, just call Cabarrus Arts Council at 704-920-2787. And I think they'll probably speak to you in French. <laughs> Maybe not. I don't well, Friday definitely um, is the place to be. Downtown Concord is the place to be. Downtown Concord on Friday because you have the exhibit with the uh, opening for the exhibit mm -hmm. with the Concord Museum. You've got the Art Walk and in conjunction with the Art Walk, there also is the Modern Film Festival at the Davis Theater that's located in the historic courthouse on Union Street. There's going to be a free screening of the film the Red Machine. This is a World War II espionage film. It's going to be shown at the Davis Theater Friday, February 11th at 9 p.m. The screening is following the Downtown Concord Art Walk. The Davis Theater is located upstairs in the historic courthouse on Union Street, Downtown Concord. For more information about the Modern Film Fest at Davis Theater, just call the Cabarrus Arts Council at 704-920-2787 or visit cabarrusartscouncil.org. Now, would you like to be involved in something that's helping promote you know, 
great lifestyles and healthy lifestyles. We'll make plans now to participate in the Live It Up Cabarrus Festival as an annual event and to encourage healthy living and kind of strengthening our lives through nutrition and locally produced foods. Now, there will be live demonstrations, ongoing activities. Festival goers can, can actually meet the local you know, farmers that grow the produce and all that mm -hmm. sort of thing. And there's all sorts of different types of things also. You can learn about backyard gardening, you got composting tips, you got experimenting with kind of different cooking techniques, mm. which would be kind of cool. And there's also going to be a 3K race and fun run and a mini golf tournament. Lots of exercise in that. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Now, the 2011 Live It Up Cabarrus Festival will be held on Saturday, April the 2nd, from 2 to 5 p.m. at the barn at Frank Liss Park in Concord. This event is free and open to the public. Cabarrus County is seeking vendors to provide demonstrations and samples at informational booths at this event. To learn more and to download a vendor or participant application, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash live it up. Now, if you're a cat lover, you might want to come out to Cabarrus Arena this weekend because the Carolina Sophisticats will host the Hearts of Fire All Breed and Especially Cat Show at Cabarrus Arena and Event Center Saturday, February 12th from 9.30 a.m. until 5.30 p.m. In addition to the cat show, vendors will sell feline-related products, including cat food, apparel, jewelry, and furniture. Admission fee is $6 for adults and $4 for children 12 and younger. For details, just log on to CabarrusArena.com. Now, the Cabarrus County uh, Department of Aging is sponsoring Off Your Rocker Rockathon, which is a whole lot, that's a lot, of really fun event. Now, that's going to be on Saturday, February the 12th at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. The event uh, begins at 9 a.m., ends at 9 p.m. There's lots of entertainment for all kinds of ages. There's including the, fantas the Fantastic Shakers. They'll headline the Valentine's Day themed evening, and that's mm -hmm. a separate dance. Plus, there's a car show, a silent and live auction, and lots of great food, and a whole lot of entertainment just throughout the whole day. Now, the uh, tickets cost $7 for adults, $4 for children, and uh, 5 and to 12 years old. Children under 5 are admitted free. Money raised will be put into a fund for expansion of the senior, citizen, senior center facilities throughout the county. For details about the event, just call Cabarrus County Senior Center, Concord site, 704-920-3484, or just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Just come on out for all the fun. Uh, David, you were talking just a moment ago about how our um, food produced by our local farmers just tastes better. Oh, absolutely. Well, if you are wanting to get a special taste of um, everything that's available right now in the winter months, I'm um, coming out to the farmer's market. Piedmont Farmer's Market on Winecoff Road is going to be open for their tailgate market on Saturday, February 12th from 9 a.m. until noon. Come out for local meat and seafood eggs, dairy products, and winter vegetables. The Farmer's Market is located at 518 Winecoff School Road in Concord. For details, just log on to piedmont-farmersmarket.com. I mean, there is a lot of stuff out there. We were out there a couple of weeks ago, and I mean, I, I was amazed at the amount right. of food. And if you haven't tried local meat and eggs, definitely oh. uh, try it out. It's, it's a great experience. It really is. Now, children ages 5 to 7 years old can come out to the library to explore size, volume, and measurement through a story and also through a craft. Now, that's about the size of it is the name of the program. Be held on Tuesday, February the 15th at 4 p.m. at the Kannapolis branch of the Cabarrus County Public Library. Program is free, but registration is required. To sign up, just call the library at 704-920-1180. For more details, just log on to Cabarrus County dot us slash library uh, a really cool event um, that's sponsored every year from the Canapolis branch Cabarrus County Public Library it's daddy daughter day and you can sign up now to participate if you are a father searching for a meaningful way to enhance your relationship with your daughter then make plans to attend the daddy daughter day now this year, the Cavco Pretenders is going to present um, the short play, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Um, that's going to be for you and your daughter. Um, that's going to be on February 19th at 11 a.m. The event is recommended for uh, dads and girls um, in pre-K through the fifth grade. Uh, the child's father or an important man in her life is invited to come. Registration is required. For more information, just call the Kannapolis Branch Library at 7 
704-920-1180 or log on to cabarrascounty.us slash library. Now, older adults and those interested in their care are invited to a free day of fun and health related exhibits at the Senior Health and Wellness Day. And that's going to be on Wednesday, March the 9th from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. And that's going to be at the Cabarrus Arena and Event Center. Now, admission and parking are free. Older adults can participate in everything from health screenings, receive uh, prescription drug assistance, learn about health care options, and also enjoy kind of music and leisure activities and activity demonstrations throughout. And a free lunch will be served at noon. Now, Senior Health and Wellness Day is presented by the Cabarrus County Department of Aging and CMC Northeast. And that allows older adults and caregivers just to learn more about the aging services and discover ways on how to be more active. Now, the event focuses on uh, the heart, health, medication management, wellness, and includes uh, screenings, everything from uh, cholesterol, glucose, stroke, blood pressure, dental, vision, and more. Now, sponsors are needed to make the Senior Health and Wellness Day a success. So if your business is interested um, in an older market and uh, you know, possibly up to or beyond 1,000 participants, then uh, please uh, contact Cabarrus County Senior Center, 704-920-3484. For more details about the Senior Health and Wellness Day, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash aging. Well, um, effective now, the Cabarrus County Department of Social Services is having extended hours to provide greater convenience for working families and those who have difficulty um, getting to the DSS office during its regular operating hours, which um, are 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. on weekdays. Now, DSS will be open the first and third Tuesday evening of each month. Uh, so they'll be open on Tuesdays, the first and third Tuesday from 8 a.m. until 6 p.m. The extended hours on these Tuesdays will be implemented on a trial basis. The next date for the extended evening hours is Tuesday, February the 15th. The extended hours are dedicated solely to residents who need to apply for assistance, such as food and nutrition services, formerly known as food stamps, Medicaid, child daycare, crisis economic assistance, and child support. Clients can call DSS at 704-920-1400 during operating hours for additional information about services and programs, or just visit the Cabarrus County website at www.cabarruscounty.us slash social. Now, uh, join park rangers for an early bird breakfast snack and then set out to count the birds. <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Learn the basics of birding, the basics of birding, I guess being a bird. No, no, no. I'm understanding what birds do, I guess. Okay. And other facts at the bird watching and great, maybe I should go here so I can learn all about yeah, this. I think you might need to. Yeah, that's right. Bird watching and the great backyard bird count. And that's at Franklin's Park. Now, this event will be held at 10 a.m. on Saturday, February the 19th. This event is appropriate for ages seven and older, and the event is free, but registration is required by February the 15th. To register, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner, type in the word bird, and then in the class search box. For more information, just call 704-920-3350, or just go to cabarruscounty.us slash parks. Well, if you don't know the difference, say, between a maple tree and an oak tree once the leaves have fallen off, you um, might be interested in this neat workshop. You can come out uh, to Camp Spencer Park, join the park ranger to learn how to identify trees by their bark and other methods. Participants also will learn what kind of invasive plant life lives at the park. Now, the winter tree identification and invasive species class is appropriate for ages 8 and older. Older. Cost to participate is $2 per person. The class will be held on Saturday, February 12th at 1 p.m. at Camp Spencer Park. Registration is required. To register, just log on to cabarruscounty.us slash reserve partner. Enter the word tree in the class search box for more information. Just call the park's office at 704-920-3350 or visit cabarruscounty.us slash parks. So you can learn about the trees and their bark. <laughs> and, and the birds. Okay. Anyway. Now we've covered a lot of information today, so if you miss a contact information or web address, just go to our web address, which is cabarruscounty.us. There's a little search box, A through Z. You can plug in the title there. You can pretty much find anything you're looking for. If you have any kind of problems, just send us an email at channel22, cabarruscounty.us. And of course, one of the best ways to get all the information we talk about on Cabarrus this week, plus lots of other um, really important and interesting tidbits of right. information about Cabarrus County, 
just sign up for our email newsletter. You can do that by going to our website, kaviriskind.us. Click on the Join Our Mailing List link, top left of any page. Type in your email address. You'll be set to go. Um, get that information um, actually before um, our Kaviris This Week shows. That's right. uh, airs each week so that uh, you will be the first to know about all things going on in Cabarrus County in the week ahead. So do sign up for that today. And if you have family or friends that don't have Time Warner Cable, you can, uh, or if you just kind of want to watch our programs on demand, just go to our web address, CabarrusCounty.us. Right there on the home page, you'll see a video screen. Right below it, it's Channel 22 icon or a YouTube icon. Click on either one of those. You can find out pretty much everything that we have. And, uh, and the other thing that we get out on the e-newsletter is the new products, the new shows we mm -hmm. have. We put a link on that so you can go right to that. So that's always fun. And it's great. You know, you can watch it when you want it, however you want it, how many times you want it. You know, <laughs> so it's really cool. And I tell you what, this, this exhibit is really nice. They've done a great job here. Really interesting. The artifacts here are amazing. I mean, there are really a number of things that I've never seen before. And uh, it, it is some, really yeah, some very unique items right. um, that you probably have have not seen, as well as um, it, it's just really neat to you know anytime just looking back at our history and um, being able to bring all the different perspectives to that. Um, Concord Museum truly is a gem um, downtown Concord. So do um, come by and visit this. Absolutely. And uh, until next week, you have a great one.